I've been waiting on today for quite some time, uh, at least a few months. Uh, really, really excited. I'm here today at uh, Push a Boat Works, meet up with my buddy Tim, uh, and we're gonna start reassembling my boat. A few months ago, I brought it down here to do a full rebuild, top to bottom, new deck, new tower, new console, uh, a lot of new additions and repairs and, and all kinds of that, but I decided to go ahead and uh, rebuild top to bottom. Uh, so the Flats Cat, it, well, it looks completely different. Uh, we did add some things that, you know, are unique only to this boat and I want to show you all of that, but really excited to go check it out and start putting it all back together. Let's go take a look. So I have the 17 foot flats cat and uh, for me, I really don't think that there's a boat that compares for what I'm using it for, uh, for that shallow running, skinny water. Um, it's not a fast boat. Uh, generally, you know, I'm, I'm running under 40, um, but for me, it's absolutely perfect. And the performance of that boat is what I absolutely love. Um, so a lot of people uh, will be asking why, why, why the rebuild, why, why even go through that? Well, there's a few reasons. First off, there are, while I love the Flats Cat, there are things about it that, uh, I wish were different that I would like to change. One of those being, um, storage that the Flats Cat, I have the 17 foot Flats Cat and storage is lacking. It is, it is lacking tremendously. Um, I, I think there's four hatches in the front that are really, really small. Beyond that, you know, uh you only really have storage underneath the console and that that's pretty much it now when i originally bought this boat i bought it as a project i knew that things needed to be done there were some repairs that i i knew had to be made uh pretty quickly um there was some fiberglass stuff that had to be done it was also wrapped in like this bright green so i pulled that off i repainted it uh, for those of you that have been watching my videos for a while you probably saw some of that stuff um i i, I did videos on kind of the beginning uh, changing of the project flats cat. Um, however, there are uh, there are some things as I ran the boat that I, I realized that needed to be done and they needed to be done soon. And, and one of those things is when I bought the boat, I, it already had that mid platform. And I noticed that I started getting hairline cracked. So I decided um, after that to just go ahead and remove it and have them build me a new one and that's what they did. But while the platform was off and while I had to do that, I had to remove the console, had to remove all of the rigging, all of that stuff to get that platform off. Well, I decided at that point, while everything is down to nothing, I might as well just redo the rest of the boat. Uh, so that's where this rebuild came is uh, out of necessity of a few small repairs and uh, it just led to bigger things. Uh, let's go take a look. Well, we got everything mounted. Uh, got the uh, platform deck, fuel tank, got all the uh, cables in there, with the fuel line. Yeah, a lot of stuff, uh, but uh, you know, we're gonna take it back off here in a minute <laughs> and then redo all of this stuff so that we can really get it in there. But um, it's looking good. Next, we, yeah, we just got the console, we gotta get everything wired up, but it's, it's, uh, it's going, little by little. Putting down some adhesive on all these screws and we're going to remount it all right so here it is i wanted to show you a few of the things that were added here um but this is the uh this is the deck the new deck new cutouts for the hatches uh one thing that i had before i had the trolling motor up in the front which means that i put the batteries in here um, so we decided to move all the batteries underneath the console and so now the wires will run through the hatches and then they come up through that pipe into the console and then I'll have all four batteries sitting inside the console. Um, but one of the coolest things that uh, we added, if you notice every flats cat, uh, the back of the deck goes all the way and well, we added more hatches. Uh, while I love the flats cat, the biggest problem I have with it is that there's no storage space. So now 
I have storage on both sides. Um, two full hatches. This one goes about halfway down. And uh, the following, uh, the other side, um, well, it goes all the way to the bottom of the hole, uh, which is really nice because now we run all of our wires, our fuel, all of that stuff. It goes straight through there. We're gonna put a uh, bilge pump in there as well um, so that we can, you know, keep all the water out and, and do all of that. Uh, he did build a custom plate here for all of these to keep everything nice and clean. Got another one there. So all the wires, we started running all of that today. Uh, got a long ways to go, but I'm really happy with it. Let me go ahead and show you um, <clears throat> this mid tower here and the seat and all the powder coating. But yeah, there it is. Uh, this was built uh, by Salty Ways Marine, That's Stephen and David over there. They rebuilt all of that for me uh, along with them. Got a new fuel tank here. Uh, so the fuel runs now through the console up on the side. Uh, we've got all of that going on. Uh, so yeah, we've got the new fuel tank. Here's all of our wires. Those that are running from that connection in. Uh, there's the new console. Super shiny. The light is all up on it at the moment, but there it is. And then all of that was powder coated uh, with this awesome kind of textured flat black. Uh, same thing with the seat. Got that. That's all new. The bases were uh, changed. We also, the console used to come out, it had a huge lip here. So that was cut off. Now all of the tabs are on the inside. Uh, I'll show you. Hard to see. But um, so now this gives us a lot more extra room in between uh, the side of the wall and here, more walking space. So still got a lot to do. Got a windshield to put on. Still got to mount some things. Got to wire stuff up. Put in some hatches. Um, but you know, it's getting uh, it's getting close. Getting real close. So I'm real happy with it. Looks like a brand new boat. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to run it. So we are still waiting on a few more things, uh, like some hatches and uh, switch panels and stuff. And as soon as all of that comes in, we're going to continue this project. So uh, maybe uh, another few weeks and we'll be good to go. But we're getting real close. Tim's staying on it, still working hard. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, we'll have a part two to this for sure. All right, well, now that we've got everything kind of rigged, everything in place, we've got, um, you know, all of the cables, all of the fuel, all of, you know, those hoses run through the console, we've got all of our electrical, trolling motor, all of that stuff run. Next thing, uh, you know, it, it, the rest is pretty easy. Um, I've, I've got, I'm waiting on some hatches to come in. Those are gonna go on. We're gonna, um, Tim is going to design a, the whole panel so that we can put the steering and all of that stuff uh, in exactly where I want it and have a lot of space on the console in case I need to add anything I, I do plan on adding like a light bar and a few other things. I'm not putting a radio on this boat um, I had one before never used it. Uh, I'll probably just bring my turtle box along You know if I want music or if I got the family around uh, and that thing is loud enough and it's you know hooks up to my phone just great so we, we we're waiting on some of that stuff. I'm waiting on the cleats. Those are gonna get powder coated as well um yeah, just a few minor things and then hooking everything up and testing it. So uh, there will be a part two to this video so that I can show you, you know, as we progress into this and I'll, I'll show you the, the completed version of this boat when it's ready to hit the water. So, but stay tuned. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will update you as soon as the boat gets further along. So I appreciate it. Thanks again. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below, and we'll see you next time.